Introduction to Geometry, Level 4. In this video, we're going to continue denoting and naming slightly more challenging angles by using the points located on a geometric figure. Let's go ahead and start with the first example. Using the following figure, find the following. Name the vertex and the sides of the following angles. Angle 4, Angle 1, and Angle 6. Alright, we are asked to identify the vertex and the sides of the given angles. Let's start with the first angle. Angle 4 is located here, and its vertex is represented by point C. Now, the sides of the angle are formed by rays CD and CB. Notice that ray CB can also be named as ray CA, since both points B and A are located on the same line segment. So this ray can be named in both ways, as long as you denote the vertex C first, followed by point B or A. Also notice that the arrows on each ray are not drawn in the figure. Recall that the sides of an angle are technically formed by rays. When you name the sides of angles, we usually name them as if they were rays. Even though the ray is not explicitly drawn in the picture, we still denote them as if they were rays. In the same manner, let's locate angle 1. Angle 1 is located here, and its vertex is represented by point A. The sides of angle 1 are formed by ray AD, which can also be denoted as ray AE. The second side of the angle is formed by ray AB, which can also be denoted as ray AC. Lastly, let's locate angle 6. Angle 6 is located here, and its vertex is represented by point D. The sides of angle 6 are formed by ray DC and ray DB. Notice that the angles of this geometric figure are labeled with numbers, which makes it slightly easier to reference a particular angle. Alright, let's move along to the next example. Name three angles that have B as the vertex. Let's first locate point B. Point B is located right here. At first glance, it seems that there are two distinct angles that have point B as the vertex. The first of these angles is angle 3. Notice that we can also name this angle as angle DBC or angle CBD. Another angle that contains point B as the vertex is angle 2. We can also name this angle as angle DBA or angle ABD. It seems that these are all the angles, but the problem is asking us to name three angles. We already found two angles. Now it's just a matter of finding one more angle that has B as the vertex. At first, it might be hard to see, but the third angle is formed by point C, point B, and point A. This angle is usually referred to as a straight angle. You can think of this angle as a sum of angle 3 and angle 2. Straight angles will be discussed in more depth in a later video. For now, keep in mind that these types of angles exist. With that said, we can name this angle as angle CBA or angle ABC. Alright, let's try the final example. Name all the angles that have D as the vertex. Alright, let's take a look at point D. Right off the bat, it seems that there are three angles that contain point D as the vertex. They include angle 7, which can be named as angle EDC or angle CDE. Angle 6, which can be named as angle CDB or angle BDC. And angle 5, which can be named as angle BDA or angle ADB. These three angles are the obvious angles that have D as the vertex. But it turns out that there are three additional angles that contain point D as the vertex. The next angle is formed by the sum of angle 7 and 6, and can be named as angle EDB or angle BDE. Another angle is formed by the sum of angle 6 and 5, and can be named as angle CDA or angle ADC. The final angle is formed by the sum of angle 7, 6, and 5, and can be named as angle EDA or angle ADE. This is another example of a straight angle. 
Going over these examples, I want to point out the importance of developing your ability to see and identify the various angles that exist within a geometric figure. It is going to be vital as we tackle on more challenging problems in geometry. All right, in our next video, we will start going over examples that requires us to use concepts associated with sets, such as unions and intersections of geometric figures.